Hi friends, this is Denea Research and welcome to the part number 7 of Cryptocurrency Statistical Arbitrage Tutorial. In the previous video we have finished implementation of our first module, Cointegration Test, and now we are able to find cointegrated pairs. So today we'll work with the event loop and we'll build market data receiver and spread builder. Ok, let's start coding. I have created file main.py where we'll put event loop and all of our functions. So let's firstly initiate event loop. While true colon. Inside of this while loop we'll execute all functions like data receiving, analysis and so on. So we'll trade on 30 minutes time, 30 minutes time frame. And that is why we'll place some delay like time, sleep, 30 minutes, so 30 multiplied by 60 seconds. But firstly let's import time model. Import time. Ok, then before this delay we'll call function get market data. Ok, now let's define this function. def get market data. We need market data for two cointegrated pairs. So let's create list of pairs, pairs equals to empty list for now and put this list into function parameter. Pairs and pairs here. Ok. In order to build spread we will use two weeks data. So this function get market data will be very similar to the function we used in the previous video where we pulled data for cointegration test. So we can simply copy it here and modify. Let's go to coin.py and copy this snippet of code and paste it here. Ok, let's fix formatting. Something like this. And we'll work with this function. So, we'll leave this final data frame which we'll return in the end of function and we'll loop through the list of pairs provided as a parameter. So instead of symbols filtered, let's type pairs. Ok, let's leave this delay as it is. Then let's try to modify our request if we need to do that. We'll request candlestick data. So we'll provide pair names in upper case. We don't need this upper function. And we need to provide start date. So let's go to coin.py and find definition of the start date. Here it is. Copy and paste it here above the loop. So we'll actually take current time and we'll deduct 14 days from current time to get start date. Ok. And finally let's return our data frame. So return final df. If you do not understand what happens inside of this function, I highly recommend you to watch my previous video where I went step by step through these ropes of code and explained what happens there. Ok, now let's create some variable like data which equals to the market data and create another function which we'll call build ok get spread get spread and this function will use this data as a parameter so data ok and define this function define get spread with data as a parameter. Ok. Input data for this function 
is provided as two columns data frame and each column name equals to the name of the pair. So let's pull pairs names from this data frame. Pair one equals to list data, which will provide names of columns and we'll take first name with index zero. And similarly to pair two, pair two equals to list data and second element of this list. Probably you remember that spread formula is something like spread equals to pair one minus beta coefficient multiplied by pair two. We already have pair one data and pair two data and the only thing that is missing is this beta coefficient. So let's calculate it. In one of my previous videos where I explained how to build spread, we used ordinary least squares estimator to calculate beta coefficient. But on practice, instead of using simple OLS, I recommend you to use rolling OLS estimator. And let me explain you why. Rolling OLS works similarly to moving average technical indicator, where we have fixed window size and we calculate beta coefficient specifically for data inside of this window. And then we shift window and calculate data again. So this window size can be like 200, 100, 50, 20 or any other number you want. It is important to use rolling OLS because we do not know how strongly old pricing data impacts new pricing data. And we can figure out that by adjusting window size. Also, when you do backtesting, it is crucial to use rolling OLS because it helps you to avoid look-ahead bias. Look-ahead bias happens when you use data that was not available at the moment of calculation. For instance, when you use in backtesting large data set of historical prices, you cannot calculate beta coefficient for the whole data set and use this, the same data set for trading, because that would be look-ahead bias. So, in order to use rolling OLS estimator, we need to install PyFinance library. So pip3 install PyFinance and click enter. Ok, let's wait for completion of the installation. PyFinance is installed and let's import rolling OLS function. So, from PyFinance.OLS import pandas rolling OLS. So we'll use this function to calculate beta coefficient. Great. Now let's go to get spread function and create the name of our spread. So it would be pairs equals to pair one plus hyphen pair two and let's calculate beta. So rolling OLS equals to let's copy this function pandas rolling OLS and as a parameters we have to provide y which is data of pair two x which is pricing data of pair 1 and window size window equals to let's start with 20 so this function will take prices of pair 2 and prices of pair 1 which with window size of 20 and will calculate rolling beta coefficient. Now we have got everything to calculate spread. So let's create a separate data frame for spread. So spread equals to pd data frame and spread pairs sorry pairs 
equals to pair one data. So data pair one minus beta coefficient that would be rolling OLS dot beta feature one feature one multiplied by pair two data. So data pair two oops pair two okay finally let's drop not the numbers so spread drop an A in place true and return spread return spread great we have just implemented get spread function so let's test it so let's print spread data for some cointegrated pairs. But firstly, let's run coin.py to find those cointegrated pairs. And let's save main.py. Let's type python3 coin.py and hit enter. As you remember from the previous video, this process probably takes 5 to 10 minutes to complete. So let's wait. Finally, we've got cointegration test results. And we have two cointegrated pairs. Ethereum Classic against Bitcoin and XRP against Bitcoin. P-value is less than 5% and test statistics minus 3.75 is less than critical value at 5%, minus 3.34. So let's use Ethereum Classic and XRP in our test build, uh, spread builder. So inside of pairs list we'll type etc, btc and pair 2 is XRP, btc. Save code and run main.py python3 main.py and hit enter. OK, we've got error. Get market data is not defined. So let's check. My bad, I forgot that we have to define function before we actually use them. So let's move this event loop to the bottom. Save and run code again. Python 3 main dot, main dot pi hit enter. OK, we've got another error that PD is not defined. So we forgot to import pandas model. So let's do that. Let's type import pandas as PD. Save code again and let's try to run it. I will hope that we will not get any errors now. OK, another error, we forgot to import request module. Let's fix that. Import requests. OK, save code again. And run it. And finally, we have spread for Ethereum Classic and XRP. Currently, it is a little bit useless. But in the next video, we'll analyze it and we'll beat this score. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!